Hey everyone, it's Malin, and today I have a really special guest. This here is Mochi. And Brandon and I adopted him about a week ago at the adoption center, and he's just so cute. He fell asleep on Brandon's lap, and that's how we ended up picking him out. But for now, I'll teach you how to do the suit and tie. You can do it with a tie bar or no tie bar. And what's really great about this is that it even has a breakaway snap right here so it's safe for your pets. You mostly use it for photo shoots and things like that because when they scratch it, it can fray a little. You see this one's a little bit busted. It's a little, it's a little fuzzy. I thought you guys might really enjoy it, especially after that pet DIY with my other cat and the Pikachu costume. He can't quite wear costumes just yet, but I'm trying to train him up to it. So hopefully one day soon. Hope you guys enjoy the tutorial and let's jump right into it. Alrighty, so first off, I'm going to teach you how to do this adjustable collar. If you already have a collar that you want to use, then you can just skip this step. So I've made three marks on my ribbon. The first marks the seam allowance. The next one is my cat's neck measurement, including the buckle. And the third mark is the seam allowance, so the collar can be adjustable with Velcro. And after you cut the ribbon, you just want to carefully melt the edges using fire. Because my ribbon is too wide for the buckle, I'm going to fold it in a little bit and just top stitch it down. Slip one end through the buckle and top stitch it into place. Next, taking some velcro, you want to cut it in half so it's thinner. And then mark how long you want your piece to be. Then just stitch both pieces onto the underside of the collar. So pretty much just make sure you're stitching it onto the wrong side. And there you have it, an adjustable collar, in case your cat gets a little bit chubby, and a safety buckle, in case he gets caught in anything. Alright, so now that you're done making the base of your collar, we're going to be attaching all these little pieces to it. And here I've already got them pre-cut out. Um, just use my pattern and you should be ready to go. So you just want to mark the middle of your collar. And to do that, you just find the midpoint and you go like that. Then you unhook it so it's easier. And now you have your exact center. There you go. You have your tie. And next you want to put the collar on. So I guess just figure out where you want to put it. I want it, oh. <laughs> I want it like right over here. All right, so if you want to go that extra mile and impress all your friends, then we're gonna add the tie bar, but you don't want anything sharp for your pet. So just, I would just like scratch it on the edge of the sandpaper and that's how you make it more smooth. So it's easier if you do that side first and then you just cut a little piece. Something really small. And this is where the tweezers come in handy. Cause see, there, it'll be just like that. Like that. Don't squeeze out too much because it tends to want to go through the felt. It super glues nuts. Super glue is so strong it'll just like cement itself to the tape. So just be careful. Put it slightly right next to it, like that. And then that's how you know it'll be really secure. Let it dry and you'll be finished. Thank you so much for watching you guys. I really hope you all enjoyed that video and hopefully we'll be able to do more real soon. I'm excited to try out different types of collar looks, maybe like some bow tie stuff. I will actually also be doing a giveaway, the necklace that we made today. And this will be for anyone that's in the US and I will have more details down below in the description box. I hope you all have a really great day and I will see you in my next video. And the reason why I have this llama here is because it's his favorite toy and I'm trying to keep him on the table. Um, 